Do you enjoy wearing shirts when you ride your bike to cover your nipples so that you may be served at cafes and restaurants? Me too. And if you're looking for the ultimate cycling t-shirt, I have it right here. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't make any affiliate commission from them. I didn't get these shirts for free. I paid for this with my own money. They don't even know that I'm making this video. And these shirts are wool t-shirts from a company called Wool and Prince. They're $84. And while that may be outrageous for a single t-shirt, they are worth every single penny. Speaking of worth every single penny, this video is sponsored by Wobby Cycles. To learn what makes Wobbies worth your hard-earned shekels, stick around until the end of the video to learn more about them and why I ride a Wobby. Not trying to get too philosophical on you, but the purpose of wearing clothing is to fit into society and to be more comfortable. Cycling specific clothing already fails at that first one. When Adam and Eve ate the apple of the tree and their eyes were open that they were unclothed, humanity was changed forever and nipples needed to be covered. Comfort isn't just about how physically comfortable you are wearing a garment, but it's also about how mentally comfortable you are wearing that garment in different contexts. I ride my bike to places, I go to Target on my bike, I'll go get boba on my bike, I go to Trader Joe's on my bike, I'm not wearing a cycling jersey in these instances. And because I ride my bike for transportation, I ride in everyday clothes. And the Humble t-shirt is the perfect answer to your everyday riding needs. The first and biggest concern that people have when hearing about wool clothing is that it's itchy against the skin, but that's just not the case with these wool and prints t-shirts. They are a bit rougher than I would say like a soft cotton but you do get used to them very fast. But the reason to wear wool in the first place is that wool is basically a magic material. It has this amazing ability that if you're riding your bike, if you're working out and it's hot outside, it'll actually keep you cooler than if you were just wearing nothing at all. And the opposite is also true. If you're out riding your bike and it's cold outside, it will keep you warm. It turns out sheep, over millions of years or thousands, I don't know how old sheep are, <laughs> they know a thing or two about not taking showers and keeping you comfortable regardless of the weather. And these are hands down the shirts that I wear the most in my closet just because they're so versatile. I can wear them as undershirts, I can just wear them as basic t-shirts on the as an outer layer. And whatever I do, these shirts can hang. I also really enjoy the fits on these Woolen Prince shirts. Right here, I have a small, and here's a medium. Uh, I'm six foot tall, and I wear a small. For some reason, I'm always in American sizes. It, right in the middle between a small and medium. This one's a medium, it's a little too baggy, and this one's small, it's a little too short. It's just the life that I have to deal with. <laughs> the other magical thing about wool, unlike most other materials, is that they have a very, a somewhat scary ability to resist being stinky. Look, this is going to sound gross. And I know this is gonna sound gross, especially if you're not accustomed to wearing wool, but I can wear these shirts for every day for up to like a week, two weeks, biking, working out five days a week, sweating in them heavily. I hang them up at the end of the day, just in my closet and the next day they just don't stink. I don't know how they do it. Sheep, sheep are just magical creatures with the best clothing as a natural material. I have to wash them once I start, I, it's nasty. Once I start seeing that like on the back where I usually have like a messenger bag or a backpack, I start seeing like a salt outline of where I've been sweating or even if it's starting to get discolored because of how much dead skin has accumulated. It just doesn't stink. I don't know how. It's magic. I love these things. You can't get wool like pure stark white. That is a downside if you're looking for that. And yeah, these shirts are expensive. But when you think about how many cotton or polyester blend t-shirts that you have in your closet, probably one to three t-shirts could replace all of them. These woolen print shirts are also very durable. I constantly ride with backpacks, messenger bags. There is no additional wear from the friction on my back. I've had this t-shirt for about two years now, two and a half years, and I've had this one for about a year, and it just holds up. Uh, the one place that I do see wear 
is in the armpits. Not sure if you can see, but I had a deodorant where I had to vigorously scrub uh, deodorant stains out of the armpits. And there is a bit more wear there. You can see in the light, it's a bit thinner. It's not showing up on camera, but it's there. But yeah, it's been super great. They just hold up. Machine wash cold. I mostly hand wash my clothing so that it lasts longer because I don't have a lot of stuff. And then just hang dry, but make sure that you hang it like this or just lay it out flat on a table because wool is a very delicate material and if you just hang it from the shoulders it will pull the wool and drape it in a way and stretch it out. Because it's wool, it's also very fast drying which is nice if you're a super sweaty cyclist. These are the most comfortable shirts that I've ever ridden in. Cotton, linen, polyester blends, they don't hold a candle to just 100% merino wool. These are the fastest drying piece of clothing that I've ever had. They're thin and breathable, yet it's still warm when it's cold. Like, it, these characteristics don't make sense, but they actually exist when you get 100% merino wool in a uh, lighter fabric. If you're a die-hard performance-seeking cyclist, any t-shirt is probably not for you, but if you ever like to ride in t-shirts, or if you mostly ride in t-shirts, you should definitely consider this, because think about it. I can wear a shirt, sweat heavily in it, it doesn't stink, it doesn't absolutely need to be washed by the end of the week, after working out for five days a week, after biking for seven days a week, and it's the most comfortable piece of clothing that I've ever put on. Like, I'm not endorsed by this company, but I know it sounds like that, but I just really love merino wool stuff, especially t-shirts, especially for biking. It really is the ultimate t-shirt. Like, these things shouldn't be possible, but they are, just because wool is such a magical material. Now, the fit, yeah, you're not going to get a jersey-like fit and aerodynamic savings out of it, but that's not what it's for. This is a high-performance cycling shirt, essentially, or working out shirt that doesn't look like it. It can fit into a lot of situations and it's comfortable to wear in a lot of situations. One wool shirt can comfortably replace seven cotton or polyester or other synthetic material t-shirts. I'm not exaggerating when I say this, but these t-shirts are legitimately one of the best purchases I've ever made. I'm super glad I've bought it. It's just made life a whole lot more comfortable, a whole lot easier, really simplified my laundry, especially when it comes to being a sweaty cyclist. Uh, Woolen prints, if you're watching, maybe sponsor me. I'll rep it. <laughs> I really dig it. I really dig it. Speaking of something else I really dig, this video is sponsored by Wobby Cycles. <laughs> now I've got a question for you. Why do you ride bikes? Why does anybody ride bikes? And the answer is because it's fun. And why do I ride my bike a Wobby Special? Well, simply put, it's the most fun that I've ever had, throwing a leg over a bike. Having a really fun and beautiful bike, something that just puts a smile on your face, whether you're just looking at it or whether you're actually pedaling it, is a really powerful thing. If you wanna get big, meaty, fast, fixy thighs like me, you gotta ride your bike a lot. And riding your bike a lot becomes effortless when it is something that is legitimately the best part of your day. And Wobby's able to do that with their bikes because they're all made out of top tier, lightweight steel tubing from Rental 725 to Columbus Spirit Tubing, which is some of the lightest steel tubing that money can buy. And Wobby's a legitimate bike shop based in Denver, Colorado. They're not just some warehouse shipping bikes to you. They wanna make sure that you get on your dream bike right out of the box. So you can choose the fine details of your Wobby down from your stem length, crank arm length, gear ratio. Wobby's bikes have literally changed my life. They're so good that I don't even own a car and they're so good that it's the only bike that I care to own and they encourage me to ride my bike every single day which just makes every single day better. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, be sure to check out Wobby Cycles, linked in the description. Fixie Finish shout to Julian Corona, Brandon Black, Brent David, Mario Perez, and Ted Anji for helping you make these fix here and cycling and t-shirt videos possible. They always support on Patreon, and remember to stop watching me right now. Remember to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.